Hey there, it's Elliot. So we've all been there, right? You get a secondhand iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, and boom, that pesky iPhone lock to owner message, or what we often call the iCloud activation lock is staring right back at you. Man, what a bummer, but don't stress because today I'm gonna to walk you through multiple ways to get rid of that message without breaking any laws. Trust me, by the end of this video, your device will be good as new. Ready to dive in? Let's go. Keep in mind, this info is for rightful device owners who've forgotten their login details. We don't support illegal actions like unlocking stolen devices. Always follow the law and YouTube's rules. Now let's get started. Over time, I've come across a bunch of tools and services claiming to help with iCloud activation lock issues, but only a handful have really caught my eye. If you're diving into this world for the first time or like me, have gone through the frustrations of forgetting your access info, you're going to want to know about these. So there's this tale about a buddy of mine, Jake. He got his hands on an old iPad his sister used to use. Excited to get started, he powered it up only to see the lock to owner message. Frustrating, right? I remember the day he called me about it. After a bit of research, we stumbled upon a few services. First up, lock to owner, a lifesaver for Jake. Then. There's iUnlock app, super easy to use by the way. Safe Unlocks was another we came across that just seemed to get things done. And finally, Unlock here's AI powered unlocking web app, which honestly felt futuristic with its AI capabilities. Now don't get me wrong, I'm just sharing some knowledge here. Think of these as tools in your toolbox when you're in a pinch. Whether you're like Jake, who just wanted to binge watch some shows on an old iPad, or you found yourself in a similar pickle, these could be your go-tos. Anyway, speaking of Unlock Here's AI, stay tuned because up next I'll be walking you through how to use their AI unlocking assistant. You won't want to miss that. All right, quick heads up for everyone. The Unlock services we're discussing primarily work in first world countries. If you're finding you can't access them or just don't want to use them, no worries. We've got something special for our viewers. Each week we're giving away 250 unlocks. Want in? Here's what you've got to do, like this video. Subscribe to our channel, comment below with three things, your device model, like iPhone 8, your IMEI, and your country. That's it. As soon as you complete these steps, you're automatically in the running. Best of luck. All right, let's dive straight into how you can unlock your device using unlockhere.com. First things first, grab your phone or hop onto your computer and open up your browser. Type in unlockhere.com. This isn't just any site, it's powered by an AI assistant designed specifically to help you break free from mobile restrictions. Once you're on the site, you'll meet Nifty, their AI bot. Tell Nifty you need an iCloud unlock. Just click on activation lock. Now you'll be asked to specify your device. Maybe you've got an iPhone, go ahead and select that. But if you're more of an iPad or Apple Watch person, those options are there for you too. Now the tricky part, IMEI or serial number. If you're thinking, what's the difference? Here's a quick breakdown. All iPhones have IMEIs. So for an iPhone, you'll choose IMEI. Now some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEIs, especially if they can take a SIM card. But if yours doesn't have one, it'll just have a serial number. To find this info on a locked device, press the sleep button, press it again, and give that little I on the bottom right a tap. Voila, all your device info should pop up. Next, you'll need to add that device info here to proceed with the process. Then you're going to fill out some basic details. This is mainly so you can get your order confirmation. It's essential to put in real info because they'll send a confirmation code to your email. So once you've filled that out and made sure to agree to their terms, remember no unlocking stolen devices. Once you've ticked that off, you need to click I'm not a robot and solve this quick CAPTCHA. Then hit start process. All right, jump over to your email. There should be an email from them with a confirmation code. A little pro tip. Sometimes these emails might sneak into your spam or junk folder, so give those a glance if you don't see the email. Once you got that, grab that code, head back to the site, and you'll see a spot to enter it. Pop it in, confirm you're a real person, not a robot. After that, tap the button to validate info, and then just like that, your unlock process kicks off. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. 
now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. All right, let's tackle another method to remove that lock. First up, if you got the original invoice from when you bought the device, that's a golden ticket. Why? Because Apple values proof of purchase. Here's what you do. Grab your device and your original invoice, then head over to Apple support online or give them a call. Let them know about your situation and show them the invoice as your proof of purchase. They're, they'll guide you through this process. It might take a bit of time, but having that invoice can make things smoother. Now, if you don't have the invoice or are looking for another route, consider resetting your Apple ID. Here's a simple breakdown. Go to Apple's website, look for the forgot Apple ID or password option. You'll have to click on it and you'll be guided to a page where you can enter your Apple ID. Follow the prompts they give and they'll guide you step-by-step step to reset your ID or password. Once done, you can use the new details to access your device. Hope that helps. And remember, there are still other methods coming up if these don't work for you. All right, diving into another solution for that pesky lock issue. iCloud Unlock Software. Here's the scoop on it. iCloud Unlock Software can be a game changer, but there's a catch. You'll need a Windows computer. If you don't have one, this might not be the method for you, but if you do, keep listening. To get started, you'll need to find the right software. There's a bunch out there, but heads up, not all of them do the trick. And a word of caution, whenever you're downloading something from the internet, there's always a risk of malware. No one wants a virus, right? So while iCloud Unlock software can be super handy, if you're not into downloading stuff or worried about security risks, consider online services. Sites like Unlockier or Safe Unlocks have got your back, the big plus. No downloads required. Just head to their site, follow the prompts, and you're on your way to an unlocked device. All right, moving on to the next solution. Stay with me. If you've got a responsive seller from where you bought your secondhand iPhone and found it still linked to their iCloud, here's a simple way to have them help you out. Have them head over to iCloud.com and log in using their own iCloud details. Once in, they should click on Find iPhone. This will show a list of devices linked to their account. They just need to find and select the one you now have. Next, they'll see an option to erase. Clicking this will reset the device. Yep, it's like giving it a fresh start, but wait, there's one more step. To make sure the device completely breaks up with their iCloud account, they should then click on remove from account. Doing this, make sure you get the full experience from your iPhone without any hiccups. Hope that clears things up. With the seller's help, this method can breathe new life into your iPhone. That's it for today's tutorial. We hope you got what you need. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.